first advice is starting directly. Start immediately. I suppose to start in time because it takes time to to organize everything, not to leave it to the last minute. Biggest advice is what's been said here a few times, start early. Well, first of all, you could employ a consultant to give you some guidance. The first one is to not to be scared. It seems to be a long time to 2018, but it takes a long time to prepare dossiers, especially for companies starting with this issue. For the first time, if they register, then I would suggest uh, they contact somebody that's done it before. They contact the consultancy or, or then they hire people into their own company that had done this, this, this before. There's not a lot of consultants out there. There's not a, lot, not a lot of test houses that are geared up to do this. They're all going to get very busy. And if you don't start now, you could find yourself in a few years time where you're desperate to do a registration and the backup that you need is just not there because the physically is not the capacity. The key point is to start looking at the general class of substance that you have. To study the reach regulation, the relevant guidelines, to assess the reach IT portal, the ICA website and so on. Try to get the basic idea of the substance and then tailor an appropriate analytics package involving the correct analytics techniques for that type of substance. You need to know today what your substance is, plan for plan time for substance identification and then you need to agree in the CIF on who's going forward with doing the relevant testing and then the relevant testing will take some time as well. You can spend millions doing it but there still isn't the capacity to do it so money will not solve the problem, it's time. If you don't have uh, all the people who know all the toxicological things and ecotoxicological is to hire a good consultant. You can rely on external consultants, on the CIF uh, itself, on the lead registrant or on the secretariat of uh, a CIF. The CIF work is, is uh, as, as the speakers here today has mentioned, uh, essential to, uh, to participate in and participate early in. You may find that actually your substance is not the same as the partners company substance and there are two registrations or maybe if you're lucky you can cover your substance with an already existing uh, registration. Remember that many aspects of analytics are confidential but trade associations often know how to uh, bring these together uh, in a non-confidential way. Mainly for the small companies it's no use to, to learn everything yourselves so it's better to, to use people that that know what they are doing. So really, start today, it's, uh, it's at, at the edge of being late. Probably the most difficult point for importers, they do not have direct access to the data. So they may have to, to start doing much of the work themselves. One main difficulty importers face, they can't have multiple suppliers. So therefore, in those cases, they need to make sure that their single registration their importer registration covers all of the sources. In those situations, um, probably the best route is to simply push your suppliers. Push your suppliers for more information so they can push up the chain to their suppliers um, and give them some clear warning that without an appropriate registration in Europe, there is no business. From our experience, uh, it took uh, from three months to six months as an average, or one year. One year was the highest one. If you are the only one registering, then it can take a year or two to do it, if you have to do everything yourself. But if you join a, a joint submission, then it depends on how fast you actually can get the substance identity done for you. If you're really starting from, uh, so that you find out that the oh, accidentally we have this substance that we haven't even recognized that it exists and then you find out, for example, that it might be an unfacing thing or something like that and then, then you start working up, I think, well, it's of course depending on the tonnage band as well, but uh, it takes years in that case. We say about 20 to 50,000 euros for the smaller volumes and about 100,000 euros for the, for the bigger ones. You could be looking at 
10,000 euro for a fairly simple case, maybe up to 20 for something more complex? Um, I think for substances between 1 and um, 100 tons, the main costs are the administrative costs. Because for 1 to 10 tons, you don't need a lot of, of testing. We talk about 30,000 euros for, for testing for these substances. But um, you have to go to other companies, you have to go to meetings, you have to organize it. For smaller companies, you have to hire a consultancy. For 1 to 10 tons, I would assume that for a simple uh, substance, that is to say, which is not listed in the um, um, uh, Annex 14, uh, one SME, uh, probably the, for one SME the cost would be around uh, altogether, let, let's say, 3,000 euro. So for our company I would say the main cost is the administrative works, the internal costs. So the registrations fee for intermediate is it's quite low though, that's not the problem. But to, to look uh, for all the information in the company, that's really not so much, it makes the experience. The main costs are um, indirect costs. At the first uh, glance, it could sound that um, you look at 25,000 euros, 30,000 euros for a registration, and you would consider that this is uh, the main cost. But if you think, if you stop and think, and you and you are skilled with rich, you know that uh, this money you maybe will recover after that other members enter the same consortium letter of assess, so you will be reimbursed, so you will gain back some of this money. Well, it all depends on, on the, the amount of participants in the consortium because the, the fees can be from 5,000 euros per substance to, to 200,000 per substance. For more than 1,000 tons, then it depends uh, very much on what is required. Uh, it can be maybe an additional 5,000, but it can be also an additional 100,000, depending on the substance. Mm -hmm.